So I'm going to be making my own DIY backboard for photography and I've never made this kind of board before so I'm going to document it to show you how it goes. Hopefully it's not a big mess. So to make this you're going to need the following products. A sponge to apply the paint. I'm also going to be using a brush to apply the paint. You need some acrylic paint so I'm going to be using black and white and I'm going to mix those together to create a grey colour. And you need your actual board that you're going to work on. Now in the beginning of my video you will notice that I had some putty with a scraper on top of all the products I was going to use for the board. My original plan was to put some of this on my board to create some texture because this is what I've seen people do in videos. But this didn't actually work for me. So in the videos I've seen, the way it goes on to the board, it kind of looks like a cream cheese texture where you can smoothly scrape it onto the board. But when I tried this, it was very thick and not workable at all. See how hard that is? And I did knead it like a dough to try and get the oils to come through, but it just didn't work for me. So I ended up giving up with that and I just ended up painting the board instead, which actually worked out much easier and I'm pretty happy with the end product. So maybe because I was trying to apply this to a piece of wood that didn't have sort of a finish on there. I'm not sure why it didn't work for me, but it worked out easier in the end just to leave it aside and just use the sponge and some paint. And I used acrylic paint in black and white and I created a grey colour. Okay, so it actually worked out so much easier just to go over it with paint and not bother with the putty. So I did a white base, I went over it with some grey and just dabbed it in with a sponge. And then I went over again with some white. Now I'm just letting it dry. So there's the background. That's how it looks with something in focus. So obviously you can do this with any colour and you can make it darker if you like. I kind of wanted to have that concrete look to it. So this is why I've gone with the grey. But I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope this has helped you if you want to try and make your own backboard and you haven't made one before. It's quite easy.